The Mariners have been outscored 30-4 to in their last three games against the Angels, trying to turn the tides here against Joe Blanton in the second inning. Raul Abanez does just that. The solo home run is 14th of the season. Raul Abanez just keeps trucking, and it's 1-0 Seattle. Next up, Justin Smoke, fresh off the disabled list, goes yard, and his first pitch, the first pitch they sees off the DL, Mike Sosha wants the umpires to take a look. They do. Clearly a home run. 2-0 Seattle, fourth of the year for Smoke, and the Mariners have back-to-back -back jacks. In the bottom of the inning, Jeremy Bonderman facing the Angels for the first time since August of 2010, and he serves one up to Mark Trumbo. Trumbo's 16th. That ends a 14-inning scoreless streak for Bonderman, and it's 2-1. Bottom five, two on, one out for Josh Hamilton. Get down to Smoke to Ryan. There's one Bonderman covering. That's a big-time double play to get out of the inning. 3-6-1. That the third double play he hit into in the ball game. After the early home runs, Blanta was solid. He strikes out Andy Chavez. His 11th strikeout of the day. That ties a career high. Mariners would not score in the inning. Bottom eight, Albert Pujols puts the Angels up there. His 12th home run of the season comes off Tom Wilhelmson and ties the game up at two. Bottom nine, we're still tied. Two on, two down. Charlie Furbush on to face Hamilton. And not a good night for Hamilton. He goes 0 for 5, two strikeouts, and three double plays. Two extras we go. A two-out double is Kyle Seeger at second for Kendris Morales. Line drive. Off the glove of Ibar. Here comes Seeger right there. He's going to score. And the Mariners have a 3-2 lead. Another big base hit with a runner at scoring position for Kendris Morales, the former Angel. Eric Ibar nearly got there, but the Mariners take a 3-2 lead. Then rookie Yorvis Medina trying to close things out. He gets Howie Kendrick to ground out to short to end it. Medina with his first career save, and the Mariners hang on to win 3-2 in 10 innings, evening the series at one game apiece. As for Bonderman, a no decision, but he's allowed just two runs over his last three starts.